Hello, it's Estrella with the reading for the collective. Let's see what resonates throughout the rest. I hope that everyone is having a really great day or evening, whenever it is that you watch this video. Um, I hope that you are feeling loved and your dreams are all coming true. Wow, Page of Cups Reverse. Um, watch out for scammers in the comment sections listing you for readings. That's not me. Thank you for all of your likes, your subscribes, my priestess, your donations, your sweet messages. Hi, new subscribers. Welcome. Hi, everyone that's been there since the very beginning. Death Reverse. We really appreciate you all. King of Cups reverse. Okay, so we've got Page of Cups reverse, challenged by the High Priestess for Death reverse in the subconscious, Knight of Cups reverse in the recent past. Two of Swords as an intention or expectation. Nine of Wands, King of Wands in the near future. Um, the lens someone's looking through, Five of Cups. I've been getting this energy for a few days. Um, Nine of Cups, Reverse in the Environment. Three of Wands, Hopes and Fears. The Chariot as the Outcome. And Four of Pentacles under the deck. It's all about security. Someone wants to have, as someone wants to establish security. They could be very, they could be holding back their energy or holding on to something that needs to be let go of. Someone could be power hungry. Um, someone could be flattering someone uh, or someone's emotions could be all over the place about you. Really challenged by who you are. Um, it's very clear to someone who you are. Um, highly intuitive person. Um, there's something mysterious about you. Um, it's you're very tapped in. Um, someone could be really upset realizing this about you for some reason or yeah. Um, death reverse, something about not wants that's not wanting something to end in the subconscious. Someone here, Knight of Cups reverse, these are emotions all over the place, or this is some type of manipulation, emotional manipulation going on from the recent past that's leading to the um, present tense. Two of Swords reverse, uh, I made a mistake. Someone might want to say, I made a mistake, a trifling mistake, uh, they're, or they're, you know, they're getting off the fence about something, or they're... Someone's going to get off the fence. Someone made a mistake. Uh, they're taking the blindfolds off. It's the end of a stalemate. King of Wands, Nine of Wands. In the near future, this is a masculine energy who's a visionary, who's a leader. Um, very enigmatic, attractive. This person... Um, with Nine of Wands, I feel like they're either looking at someone as this battle-wounded soldier um, or someone who um, is going to continue uh, no matter what. Someone's very perseverant. Um, yeah, I looked this up a few readings ago. The Nine of Wands is the minor arcana 
one of the cards, I think it was Temperance and also the High Priestess. So it's like the minor arcana of you. Someone's looking at you like that as this High Priestess. Um, five of Cups. Someone just feels really <clears throat> regretful about their life, their situation, sad. Um, someone's really focused on a, a loss. They appear to be in a situation that's very superficial, very greedy, um, self selfish. Someone could be in that environment or they could be coming across as someone who feels like they thought a wish was being granted or coming true and it isn't. And in the environment here, this person just comes across as like they took a loss, sad, they didn't, they didn't get what they wanted. Three of Wands, someone's hoping this might have to do with travel or they're waiting for, they're hoping for something to come in or they've made, they've made some plans, they took some actions and now they can only just wait. Um, the Chariot, this is, this could be a continuation if this does have to do with travel or this is actions, taking actions to get control of the environment, someone is. Um, so... I feel like this is a masculine energy um, who has re some type of regret, but I'm not sure. Let's clarify. Page of Cups Reverse. Message of concern. Marriage. There could be someone here who... Yeah, lovers. Message of concern. This is about some type of partnership or marriage that someone was in, someone, someone blocked someone's message or someone wants to send a message, unexpected income reverse, someone didn't get something, so they, so they could be flattering someone, um, or they, they could be, um, very emotional, crying, very sensitive, they didn't get something out of a situation. The problem is they're challenged by this high priestess. They're challenged by you. Something about you. Um, marriage reverse. That you broke up their marriage or that you, they didn't marry you or they can't marry you. Depends on whose perspective this is. Um, And what I mean by you broke up their marriage, uh, you didn't do anything to this person or these people. Um, it's someone's perspective as far as someone got married. They didn't get what they thought they were gonna get out of a situation. They're very emotional and there's something about you. Um, they thought they were going to maybe take something from you. I feel like it's more like that. If, if it's a... They just misjudged you. Someone misjudged you. They thought they were going to get something out of a marriage. And somehow you're involved with this um, income. Um, this has to do with money. They thought they were going to get money from a marriage. They thought they were going to get something for... They're very emotional. And they underestimated you or they misjudged you. Deep down, death reverse. Um, they don't want something to be over. They can't admit something to themselves. Um, sudden wealth. They could still feel deep down like they want to keep trying something because they feel like 
whatever they were doing here with this marriage, they were trying to get some, some, they thought they were going to get rich from something or, and if they keep going, maybe they can still do it. Um, they, or this could be someone that attributes this money or this wealth with you, like a flow of abundance and they don't want something to be over with you. That, that, and that's what's driving them is this abundance that comes with the connection. It's difficult to know which it is so far. I'll definitely clarify though. Knight of Cups reverse, someone who's been love bombing someone or someone made an insincere promise. Someone is fake nice. Um, a mature man. This would be a masculine from your past. A false is made made a false promise or love bomb someone. Or they feel like someone made them a false promise and love bombed them. This mature man is looking at this marriage that's upside down. Um in the past. So whatever's happening here, they knew whatever this was, was coming. Um, someone made a mistake moving forward. They've got, a, uh, I don't know what they want to do with this. They know they made a mistake. They've, they're taking the blindfolds off. Um, they're going to try to end the stalemate. Um, they don't what are they doing here? Two of Swords Reverse. This has to do with a child. If you have a child with this person, um, or they feel like they made a mistake having a child with someone, or they made a mistake trying to um, block a new start for you. Or they made a mistake because you really are a very kind and sweet and wholesome person that is really tapped in and has, you get these downloads, you're just very tapped in there's something about the nature of who you are. Um, it's why this person feels like they made a mistake. We have a King of Wands here in the upright. I don't believe it's this person from your past. Um, but let's see, what, what do we need to know about this King of Wands? It's another masculine energy, I feel. Um, maybe it is. Poverty reverse. This person doesn't want to be Poor. This person could have lost a lot of money or all of their money trying to do whatever this is. Depends on who who's reading this is. I'm going to finish clarifying this spread and then I'm going to get the archetype cards. Um, five of Cups, someone, someone is sad. I really a lot of regret, um, a sense of loss. They feel like they lost something. Could be feeling sorry for themselves. Occupation reverse. Someone could have lost their job or career, or they're sad that someone tried to block someone else's job or career. Nine of Cups reverse. This is not a dream come true. There's a lot of overindulgence here, materialism. Um, everyone is just about themselves. Official person, reverse. Someone didn't get the title they wanted. Someone was very greedy here, self-indulgent. It's not a dream come true. This person was after wealth and some type of like position. Um, or they could have 
married someone for a position. This could be some type of a clout chaser, official person, marriage reverse, unexpected income. They didn't get the money. They didn't get the position they thought they were going to get from some marriage. Official person reverse. They could be losing their job and whatever. So it's worse than not only did they not get what they wanted, they could be losing whatever they've worked towards before they made this decision. And Credibility, they lost credibility. Someone lost credibility. And they also didn't get whatever they thought they were working towards by making this decision, which now they feel like is a mistake. Three of Wands, they're waiting for something. Or they could be hope. Thought. Not sure. Not sure. <clears throat> I have to clarify that. I don't know that if they think that you're, they want you to be waiting or they're thinking about travel or thinking about travel or thinking about what they're waiting for or that someone's took some actions and they're hoping that someone is thinking a certain way. Chariot, someone is traveling or they're um, getting control of their, their environment. Courtship reverse. Someone, someone's not open to being courted or someone is trying to block someone from courting someone or someone's not, someone is getting in control of the environment. They are not Courting someone. Um, expectation reverse. Someone, this person's going through a tough time and they were very sure of themselves about all of this, what they were doing. They could have really, this could be someone who discarded you um, for, for money and clout. Um, They weren't expecting to lose their credibility. They weren't expecting to lose their job. They weren't expecting to, for this not to work. But let's get the archetype cards just to be sure. primary energy here. Virgin. This is someone who um, they could see you in this wholesome light. Very pure, pure of heart and spirit. They could be someone that sees you that way but is afraid of intimate union. Um, gossip. This person could have gossiped about you. Person gossiped about someone who's very pure. Makes sense with this high priestess energy and this child here. Could be why they feel like they made a mistake. If this person thought you were a part of some, you know, if this person is surrounded by people who are all faking, faking it. No one is real. Everyone is vying for a position. They might have thought you were one one of these people and thought you were playing some game that, that everyone else plays and you weren't. So they could have done things to you. Um, thinking there was some type of like one-upmanship going on. 
but actually what they did was attack someone who's very pure and sweet and also tapped in um, storyteller. This person could be a storyteller for a living. They could also be someone who makes up tales that harms others. So someone lied a lot here. You could be a storyteller. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. So I just thought of the numbers as well. You could be someone that sees the numbers. Um, you might really, um, you might be someone that sees life, you know, you see sacred geometry, you see totems, you see omens, um, You might be good at capturing archetypes to help reorient, reorient other people, is that a word? Um, so, and you could do that at work, in business, in whatever you do, you could help people to, you know, you could speak through these symbols in whatever form it is that you, you know, you work or whatever it is with your North Node, um, if it's not actual storytelling, you know. Um, but yeah, I feel like someone definitely lied here about someone who's very sweet. Um, so this person's a shapeshifter. Project any image that serves their personal agenda in the, agenda in the moment. If this is someone that you were in a relationship with, you might be feeling like you never knew them at all at this point. They might now be realizing what they did. I mean, it seems real obvious, but I mean, that could be this person You might not feel that they're very trustworthy um, at all. Messiah. So you feel like that's your energy, someone that serves humanity with humility, but the, um, wow, so you're just this very sweet person that's like this storyteller. Um, it's like you reorient the abstract, you can help people ground in the matrix, the 3D, this world, through archetypes, or through this world, I mean the 3D Messiah. But this person might feel like they have an exaggerated belief that they're the only means through which a cause can succeed. Um, maybe that you can't succeed without them. Detective. This person has been very voyeuristic. This person could have falsified information. So this person lied about you. Um, servant. Delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. You might have, um... felt initially like this person was helping you. Um, God, wow. This person uses despotism and cruelty, uses power to control people. 
I feel like your energy is here as well. Benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. These are like a lot of mirror opposites here, mirroring, but it's like, instead of yin and yang, it's like dark and light. Um, it's warrior. Wow, this, this person really, um, this person treated this like it was a war. This person traded ethical principles for victory at any cost over you. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. They didn't care if they were hurting you. And, and but it was also about winning something. This person wanted some sort of position or clout. But I also feel like this is also mirroring you. This with this high priestess and this nine of wands, energy, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Her heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. You would be the first one to check yourself, to check yourself before you check others. Um, so it's like with humility, but not so much humility that you, you, um, and not any sort of like toxic or dysfunctional way. You might've had that in the past, but I feel like with this mistake, there's like, this is just like very heavy mirroring going on, but definitely dark light, not yin yang. Someone used words to injure. They treated this like a war. This person has this sense of like they want to control where they feel like they're the, they're, for some reason they feel like they can, they should control you or control the situation or that, um, they're in charge of something somehow. They might feel like they don't want you to get out of some position. They didn't want you to get out of some position. They wanted you to stay down. Um, wow. Hedonist. This person pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. Wow. Right. Hedonist. Indulge at the expense of others. That's what this Nine of Cups is. A lot of... Greed and materialism and self-indulgence. Self-indulgence. They thought they were going to get something. There's indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. Indulges at the expense of others. This is like throwing someone under the bu bus. This is like trying to step on someone's neck to get ahead. Um, fear of facing your own demons. I mean, yeah, the darkness can be tough to look at. Um, I feel like you go through, if not every day, you go deep down to exercise, so to speak, anything that is holding you back, that is like ego driven, that, that is either your ego telling you, you can't do something or thinking that you're in a hundred percent control of, of your life. Um, that there isn't some type of like grand design or, um, you know, I feel, feel like you go through that, you shake off these negative energies um, or even like sentient energies that you feel around you, but you purify yourself regularly. Um, this person doesn't do that. They stuff it down. So there's a lot of projection coming from this person. Can I get one more? Femme fatale. 
inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. Not sure when that turned off. Under the deck we have this queen here becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding. Because we have queen and femme fatale here. Um, it's pos possible this is a karmic feminine energy. It's also possible this is a masculine energy that's more in their beggar. Yeah, someone's, someone might have wanted you to be a beggar. They wanted you to beg. They wanted to see you beg, not get what you deserve. But I feel like that's what's happening to someone here. They're not getting what they, they thought they were going to get out of something. Um... Someone wanted to see you wounded. Energy vampire for sure. Um, so because of this shapeshifter here, this could be someone that's a masculine energy that is more operating out of their feminine side. And uses these attributes of this femme fatale and this, of this femme fatale, um, you know, it's like Don Juan versus femme fatale. It's very similar. Um, so we'll keep going and we'll just, with the shapeshifter here, um, Kind of keep it open as far as if this is a masculine from your past that you were in some type of a relationship with or if this is a karmic feminine energy um very voyeuristic person here Alright, so we'll kind of look at it through both both viewpoints. Um, so someone someone's in their feelings, they did not get what they thought with this God complex here, very, very sure of themselves, feeling like they're you know, they this person could have been gifted with a lot of blessings in their life and they they became so used to getting what they wanted. This person could have been born into a situation or, you know, they were in a situation that made them feel invincible. Um, there was a lack of gratitude for what they had. Um, this person obviously wanted something here. They didn't get it. Um, unexpected income. They could have been promised something by a mother figure or a matriarch. Okay, now this is getting even more interesting. So there's a reason why this matriarch is here. This person could be with their their mother, or there could be a mother that's very upset. They thought they were going to get someone's... They could have been guided by this matriarch. They thought they were going to get something. They're very emotional here. This high priestess, they were... They were coming for someone who comes across as very um, maybe naive and sweet that has something, um, but this person's a high priestess energy and somehow 
they feel like marriage. Someone went into a marriage to gain something, um, and it was at the expense of this high priestess. Some type of sadness. Someone, this is what the sadness is about, and we know they're sad here with this Five of Cups, or some type of regret or sadness in relation to a marriage or high-level commitment, and you. Deep down, someone feels like they can still get this sudden wealth. Child reverse. Something to do with a problem with the child or stopping someone's new beginning. Something that you conceived of, blocking it, taking it. I'm not sure to clarify why the child is there. So this masculine energy was love bombing someone or someone was love bombing this masculine energy in the recent past. Death reverse. Just try to stop an ending. Or this masculine energy was love bombing someone to try to stop an ending. Or karmic feminine was trying to love bomb this masculine energy to try to stop an ending. Someone made a mistake here. Someone's, someone's not someone's friend now. Or about stopping a friendship or blocking a friendship. Now someone's not someone's friend, they made a mistake. In the near future, someone's trying to overcome some type of loss. They could be going through, there, there could be really a, like a quick loss here, money, losing a lot of money. Um, there's something about a king of wands in the upright, a masculine energy that's like a visionary, a leader. Um, they could feel not protected or there's something that someone can't bully someone anymore. Someone can't bully someone anymore. Someone's trying to get out of poverty. Someone's a battle wounded soldier. It's connected to this visionary, this leader, masculine energy. Um, it's hard to step on a king of wands in the upright. Um, but we do have shapeshifter here, so I'm not sure exactly who this is. If this is a masculine from your past. Um, or if this is someone that you... It has something to do with you because it's in your reading. So this king of wands could be someone that you... I don't know, maybe they're coming towards you. It has to do with someone constantly being there in your energy, trying to block you or stop you, but now there's something about someone not being able to do that and this King of Wands maybe taking some action or observing something about you. Um, someone is in grief here about losing their job. They're really sad. They lost their job or more than that, they lost their career or someone tried to block your career or your job or ruin your business or this person's business, a karmic feminine energy reverse. So this karmic feminine has lost their, their career or their job um, or somebody chose this person and it cost them their career or their job. Haughtiness reverse. So yeah, this, this is someone who was in some type of a position that just made them feel very invincible. A false This person has constructed a false reality about, about themselves. There's a lot of greed and they just want what they want. 
and they'll do anything to get what they want. But all that being catered to made them weak. It made them weak in several ways, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. But they were in a position, so they, it was like this person who's fragile in a lot of ways, very fragile, attacking someone. Because if, if whatever was propping them up, which is just based on chance, based on chance, it's, this person didn't, you know, um, earn their position. So they, they missed a lot, they missed a lot. Um, you know, someone who has to walk down dark streets, <laughs> they know to look behind them, or it builds a certain, it, it builds a different type of sensory per perception. This person might have had a lot of access to things that should have helped them in those ways, but they were a lot weaker than they realize that they were so full of themselves, though. If that makes sense. Really basing... There's just... This is just so thin and superficial. It's very thin and superficial. Um... And the world kept reflecting back at them to do more. To do more of it. And just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And now here they are. And I feel like this matriarch could be part of it. And yeah, this person was they were standing on this balcony this beautiful balcony draped in these clothes that someone gave to them um not happy with what they had or st standing there on the edge of this balcony thinking about what they want to do uh to someone else or how they want someone else's life to look and trying to control someone else and using gossip and lies a lot of jealousy standing on this balcony. Um, and their reverse here, whatever they did was so egregious, it's caused some type of energetic, uh, you know, uh, backlash. And it's playing out, in the, you know, that they're losing whatever position they took for granted or that made them feel so um, powerful, whatever they, they position they fell into, um, you know, that made it so that they misjudged somebody. That's what I mean they, by a certain sense of like, there's like a contradiction here about their position and what was just given to them and their entitlement just very arrogant um so if this is a masculine energy then you know they thought that they were you know they chose this jealous person who doesn't have I mean, their perception is off, for one. They could be a hot priestess in reverse. This person's very jealous. So someone who, who allows themselves to be run by jealousy unchecked is off operating from a place of weakness, which is, you know, this is someone who's afraid of facing their own demons. And that's a, that's a, that's a form of weakness, entitlement, and, and fear. Um, so... Someone is not an official person in the environment. People are looking at someone like, you know, they were propped up on this balcony. Now they have to leave the balcony and they, they don't know how to relate to the world without these things that made them feel better than others. Um, yeah, they're going through misfortune.
you know, it's like the, yeah, whatever this house was, whatever these things are, these fancy things that made them feel that they were better than someone that prompted them to do some really horrible things from this balcony. Um, it created a lot of misfortune for them and it's in the environment and they're losing that, that position. It's like being kicked out of court. Three of Wands thoughts, something about someone traveling, someone's afraid of someone. Conversation reverse. Someone not being able to have a conversation. Someone's expectations. I'm not sure about that. The chariot, someone's getting control of the environment. Prison reverse, courtship reverse. Someone trying to get out of a prison, out of a trap. Foe reverse, someone is not someone's foe. Someone could have tried to demonize you or turn you into some type of like a villain, but the, you're just very sweet and tapped in. You know, there's myster mystery connected to this high priestess energy. So this person might have taken advantage of the fact that you, you know, err on the side of quiet. You have two ears to listen and one mouth to speak, so you use the two ears to listen twice as often as you speak. You know, maybe your energy is unique and people don't know how to relate to you. Someone could have taken advantage of the fact that you're... You know, if someone's not careful and they misjudge you, they could see, they could project onto you things that aren't there. Um, so someone might have taken advantage of that. So someone could have, there could, this could be a karmic feminine whose mother guided them into something. Um, this could be some a way that, you know, the, this family operates about, you know, marrying for money. Love is not, you know, love and, um, per, you know, just action are not required. That everything is about money and position. Um, and now they're very emotional. They could be with their mother now, or this could be some other matriarch that leads up, leads something here, the leader of something. Um, someone didn't get what they wanted. Someone's not coming towards someone or trying to block someone from coming towards someone. They didn't get what they wanted. High priestess, marriage reversed. They're sad, something about this high priestess, someone is about you. It's this karmic feminine snake reverse. They tried to make you into a snake. You're not a snake. There's a marriage that's falling apart or someone married someone that's a snake. They feel sad. Or they married a snake because they wanted to get this unexpected income. Definitely take what resonates. I'm trying to incorporate both of these energies because it's unclear. Um, who is who? I mean, there's definitely a karmic feminine here. This snake and this lady reverse. And then this karmic feminine, this jealousy here. Um, but there could be a masculine operating out of their feminine side. They could have chosen this person instead of you, and now they're sad. They're realizing you're this high priestess energy. Um, someone misjudged you. They underestimated you. Deep down, they feel like they're running out of luck, or there's something that they feel attached to, some superficial idea 
connected to money, that deep down they feel like they can still do something. Someone was love bombing this mature man, or this mature man was love bombing someone just trying to stop an ending in the recent past. Someone was trying to romance someone. Someone was trying to use romance in the recent past to stop an ending. Someone made a mistake. Someone's not someone's friend now. It has to do with a letter or some information. It's really important. Someone could have made up something that made someone feel that you were their enemy. Someone could have blocked a letter, created a letter, text, email. They could have blocked something that was written. Um, someone might see you as this... Someone might, someone might see you as this high priestess energy and they tried to block this. Okay, this person's about money and security. The other thing that I'm getting is, well, there could be a whole family involved. Um... I'm just going to keep going. Um, near future, I was just trying to also see, look at this from the perspective of some type of colleague or frenemy as well. Um, that would try to knock you off your square to replace you. If, if that's the case, this person could be losing. There could be something happening. Uh... If they were married, it looks like there's some type of divorce happening. Um, someone could be wanting to, to leave this person. They didn't get what they thought. They're very jealous of you. They're going through a lot of misfortune. Um, this person's worried about security, but they want power and rank. Um, but I feel like this is this has more to do with a relationship with someone from your past, but you know, it's very possible there's a karmic feminine energy involved of that nature as well that tried to knock you off your square. They just totally misjudged you. They tried to take something that was yours, um, but I feel like this is a karmic feminine uh, energy here that someone chose instead of you. There's something about a marriage. They tried to block you from marrying someone or someone chose this person. It was all about money. Um, there could have been a masculine energy here that thought something. There could have been lies here. Um, this person that you thought you was your soulmate could have attacked you. Definitely take what resonates. If they if they're taking on a lot of this energy here with this shapeshifter, they could have been the one that gossiped about you. Um, they could have chosen this person for for clout and money. Um, and to satisfy this person, or or pitted this person against you and came for you for some reason you could definitely take what resonates um because i'm also seeing that this person seems like they they feel like they married a snake or this this marriage is falling apart um they might have believed something connected to this letter and now they could this masculine energy could feel like someone they're not your f friend now or that they've ruined the connection 
someone feels like they made a mistake for sure or there's karmic feminine blocked something and now they feel like this masculine energy doesn't want anything to do with them or there's someone who because of some someone tried to implicate someone or there's false information or someone tried to block something or do something unjust here and now they're realizing they made a mistake they're losing a friendship and there's something about you not being someone's foe so there was some false information there was lies here someone definitely made up lies storyteller warrior someone was they would do anything with these lies and I, this they gossiped about you um to control a situation they wanted they were all about money here they were led by this matriarch i don't know if this person knows your mother as well um Something about this King of Wands and the Upright. This person, something about some, someone who tried to take you down. They can't do something anymore. Someone's trying to get out of poverty. But it's like someone doesn't have the strength to, to come for you or something like that in the near future. There's a King of Wands here that's emerging. Um, I don't know who that is. Someone has a lot of regret. They're losing their job or their career. Um, this jealous feminine energy or because of this jealous feminine energy. Um, or they chose this karmic feminine energy. This jealous... They could be traveling and real and finding this out or it's because someone's transforming there's a lot of misfortune here everyone can see it it's in the environment it has to do with someone who's very important and powerful that might also have a lot of money someone's losing their position in connection to whatever this money is or this power position they're going through a lot of misfortune Something about people not talking or they don't want people to gossip or something about somebody's waiting for something. Someone's health or someone's family. Someone's getting control of the situation and the outcome. Um, something about business, losing business, losing a position trying to get out of a trap. It has to do with someone not being able to approach someone. Loyalty. It's all about someone not being someone's enemy and someone's friendship that's really important here. Um, someone might be realizing that all these lies about you were not true. Someone was trying to love bomb this masculine energy to get them to see, to block change or stop them from seeing something from a new perspective. Or masculine energy was doing this to someone else. Someone made a mistake. Now someone's not someone's friend anymore. Something about someone's having an awakening or awakening or someone's seeing something about their soul purpose. Um, someone is someone's innocent, someone's sort of... In the near future, there's a King of Wands. Marriage reverse. Someone can't come after someone anymore. This marriage is reverse. Reversing. Someone's trying to do something to you here. Someone's a battle-wounded soldier. Someone really regrets something with this jealous feminine energy. They can't redeem themselves. They don't feel like redemption is possible. Someone's lost their job. It's all about transformation. Um, there's an important person here in the environment and someone has lost their position. They're going through misfortune. Everyone can see it. Something's happening within a few months, or something's going to be public within a few months, or everyone's going to know. Something about someone being unawakened and ruled by their ego. 
someone's losing their position, someone's very toxic, narcissistic, manipulative, they're going through misfortune, um, something could be coming out in the next couple months that other people see outside of this circle, someone's worried about, okay, it does have to do with travel, this three of wands, something about a family and not wanting to talk to somebody, someone leaving, something about travel, this has to do with travel and a family and someone not talking to someone. The chariot, dark night of the soul, someone's trying to get out of a dark night of the soul, they're, they're alienated, they could have lost their job or all of their um, business connections. Um, I'm going to reverse this here. Just turn the deck around. Something about someone who's very man manipulative and controlling. Someone's trying to get out of the trap. They're, they're getting control of the situation. Someone's in competition with someone. Um, or something about someone having multiple options, or someone feels like someone has competition. Um, someone could be trying to approach something with a friendship. There's a, gel a lot of jealousy going on here. Someone's in a trap with a lot of jealousy. Um, someone's trying to stop two people from coming together. Um, or someone can't feels like they can't. They're trying to let go of someone who's very clingy and won't let go. Um, something about options. Someone's trying to block someone's options. Someone doesn't want someone to have options. Someone's not going with the flow. Wow. Not happy. Someone's not happy. They don't have this joy. Someone's obsessed and spying on someone. It's really just the outcome is very manipulative. Um, someone is getting control of the situation, but, but someone's trying to stop someone from courting someone. Someone is trying to let go. They're trying to get out of a trap. It's very manipulative. Something is based on friendships. There's Someone's trying to block someone's options. Someone's very jealous as someone's getting control of their life. Um, yeah, a lot of jealousy and obsession here. Um, I know it's a little bit of a longer reading, but I'm going to just do one more pass. Yeah, something about someone's reputation here is in shambles. Someone's obviously been exposed for something. Someone's not saying anything. There's a mother figure here, very introverted, or someone's not saying much. Um, something about trying to stop someone from seeing someone. Someone didn't get what they thought they were gonna get out of it. Um, someone feels really confused. Um, they didn't get what they, that's what I mean by very, um, Someone was very confident in what they were doing. Now they're confused. They didn't get something out of the situation. The problem is this marriage is falling apart because of a high priestess or someone is a high priestess. Um, someone's letting go of this snake or someone's a snake. Yeah, someone's played out. This whole situation's played out. Someone created a conflict where there didn't have to be one. It was all for money or they thought they were going to get something out of a situation and said they played out. Something about talking shit. Someone has to stop talking shit or they shouldn't have talked shit with this third party situation. Um, someone's been trying to get out of a trap. Love bombing someone romantically in the recent past. Someone's having a soul awakening. Someone made a mistake. Someone was trying to force their way to get what they want. They're dealing with someone that, okay, they made a mistake. 
trying to force their way or someone was now someone's not their friend um, they were talking about someone saying they ain't shit but they're they are some something or someone and now they're not their friend anymore um, someone's trying to get out of this marriage or someone is or there's a weakened marriage here Someone can't come after someone, and now there's a king of wands in the upright. Um, I feel like they're looking at you. Okay, someone is not into someone in this marriage. Um, someone has a lot of regret. They, they're with this jealous person, or this jealous person lost their job, or someone lost their career. Ignoring. They're trying to ignore this jealous person. They feel like they can't redeem themselves. Um, something's very toxic. Um, this whole flexing isn't working anymore. Everyone can see there's a lack of resources now. Someone's lost their position. They're going through a misfortune. They can't fake flex, and that's how they telegraph. Telegraph? amplify their importance is by what they have and now they're losing what they have there's some yeah misfortune with money and their position or rank and they're losing it in the environment um something about someone doesn't want someone to talk about something having to do with divination this family or someone leaving a situation or traveling um, outcome, someone doesn't want someone back. There's a lack of reflection here. Um, someone's, someone can't get closer to get information. Someone has a bad reputation. Someone still, someone's light still irritates someone's demons. It's very controlling and toxic. Someone's trying to get out of a trap. A lot of jealousy. Someone's very unhappy. Um, someone's very fake here. Someone's pretending. Why is the chariot here? Someone is. Someone's lonely. Something about someone getting their finances back together. Moving on. Someone doesn't want someone to move on or someone's not moving on. Someone's trying to stop or let go of this girl fight, this competition. Or it needs to stop, but someone won't move on. They've got a bad reputation. They're wasting time. Someone's just wasting time. They're stuck. Um outcome someone's trying to stop someone from running or someone doesn't want to run anymore um wow just very toxic <laughs> very toxic um yeah it looks like someone chose a situation based on money both people chose it on clout and money and how things look and it's just all falling apart the whole situation's played out you're this high priestess energy, just, it doesn't match. There's no match. This, this sort of toxic, jealous, feminine energy, you know, everything's falling apart because of someone was coming for you or someone misjudged you or underestimated you. Uh, and somehow it's tied into this marriage being played out or so the situation being played out, this person coming for you. They came for a high priestess energy. Um, they were talking shit. Now someone's, someone is not romantically interested in someone at all. Um, someone, I feel like someone feels like they discarded you based on some lies or it could be because they wanted this money or this position and now they feel like 
they lost you or there's something going on where someone's losing an, an important friend because they exposed themselves for doing something really egregious to you. And that's what this misfortune is, but anybody around these people knows what's happening with this fake flexing. They can't um, show off or because they lost a, a connection or a job or a position. They're going through a lot of misfortune, money misfortune. So these two people could be stuck together or someone doesn't want to let go of someone, but now there's no love or there isn't any love because it's based on things and clout. And, but someone still won't let go. Someone is still very jealous. Someone is, um, your light irritates their demons. Someone won't let go and there, there's no money, a bad reputation feeling trapped and with a bad reputation, no money, a jealous person, very toxic, a lot of fakeness, everyone's fake here, someone's trying to control someone. I feel like you're moving forward, someone doesn't like that, there's still someone here trying to block that or someone's trying to stop someone from coming towards you. Someone's definitely obsessed with you, this could be a masculine from your past in this energy. Um, they could have been obsessed with you and trying to block you. Um, they might have thought you were playing a game like I started with the beginning. They might have thought you were one of these types of people who make choices based on clout and money. You might have really truly loved this person. Um, and they discarded you for this love, uh, sorry, for this uh, money and a position with someone who's very jealous. Um, that was coming for you or, or they tried to use this, I don't know, they, for whatever reason, this person was, or is, this karmic feminine is very jealous of you. Um, the whole situation's played out. Someone's confused though. They thought they were going to get, they were very entitled. They thought they were going to get something out of this situation. Um, yeah. I think we'll leave it there. Um, if you resonate, I hope that it helps. Um, I def yeah, I feel like someone wants to be your friend or, but there's something about security as well, though. If someone's not doing well financially. Someone is not into this person at all. Someone wants out of this marriage. Um, It could be someone's just realizing what someone did and it turns them off a lot, trying to come for you with a letter, some information. Um, or it's just that it's all just with the loss of this money, this whole situation was just based on positions and money. And now if, if that's gone, they just don't feel like there's nothing holding them together, but someone won't let go. Um, I'm sure there'll be more information coming out with this letter, but there's definitely a lot of obsession about you and what you're doing and who you are. Okay. If that resonates, I hope that it helps. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.